We've just released the first single from our forthcoming album. Um, the single's called Before and After Hollywood, and that's also actually the, the, the title of the album that's coming out in spring. But um, this song, Before and After Hollywood, was one of the last ones to, one of the last ones we wrote for this album. Um, I remember I, I got the track, we, we, were, we always kickstart the process in Sweden where we go to this, this studio we have and just toss, toss up ideas. And um, I had this track, I've, I've gotten this track pretty early on in the process and hadn't really been able to come up with, with a perfect melody for this track. But um, the last night just before we left, I, I just wanted to kind of give it a go. I really liked the track, but I just wanted to see if I could come up with an idea. And around midnight, I just started improvising on this track. And, and the first thing that came out was, it must have been love. There was, for some reason, the name of the track. And uh, I think I was so tired that I couldn't come up with anything else than that, even though it's a pretty obvious Roxette reference. And uh, I sang a verse melody and, and actually didn't, I thought it wouldn't work. But we, we were listening to the, the whole thing the next day in the car. Everybody kind of agreed that there was something really moving about this chorus, even with this, or maybe because of this Roxette reference. So when we got back to Copenhagen in the, in the studio where I'm sitting right now, I just started puzzling together a new verse. And, and at some point we were just really happy with it. And it seemed like a from being nearly on the brink of not making making it the cut to the album, it seemed like it would be the perfect first single. The lyrics for this song are really about about being in the music business, which is of course a dream. And it's fascinating to be able to work with what you love for your entire life. And I cannot imagine, I cannot remember not making music. And I cannot imagine how silent and strange my life would be if I at some point stopped making music. And that's really what it's about. It's about the beauty of the music scene and the hard reality of the music scene and how strange it must be, it would be for me not to make music. Before and after Hollywood, there must be all 